Hello guys, this is Engineer Bonjobe Arbello and you are watching CBAS. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. And this is our problem number two for WSD analysis of doubly reinforced beam. A 300 by 600 millimeter reinforced concrete beam section is reinforced with 428 millimeter diameter bar and 228 millimeter diameter steel located at 536 millimeters and 64 millimeters from the top, respectively. Okay, <laughs> medyo nakakalito yun ha. But anyway, sige, unawain natin yung problem mamaya. The section is subjected to a bending moment of 150 kN meter. Use N is equivalent to 9. Find the maximum stress in concrete. Letter B, determine the stress in the compression steel. And letter C, calculate the stress in the tension steel. So, ang sabi sa problem, 428mm diameter bar and 228mm diameter steel bar at 546 and 64mm from the top. Okay, respectively. So, itong 536 para dito. Ito naman para dito. And obvious naman, hindi ba? Siyempre, ang 428mm diameter bar ay para sa tension steel. Bakit? Kasi mas kailangan natin ng bakal para sa tension fiber. So, kung saan tayo mas maraming bakal yun yung para sa tension steel. Ito yun. And ito, mas mounti yung bakal, therefore, ito ay para sa compression fiber. Ito yung ating compression steel. Tapos, ang mga pinapahanap sa atin ay maximum stresses sa concrete, compression steel, at sa tension steel. So, kung maximum stresses yan, therefore, yung ating uh, pagkukunan or yung ating moment dito na i-treat natin ay parang siya na yung magiging capacity ng ating beam. So, ibig sabihin, kung capacity to, dapat naka-crack section. So, kung crack section, payahin na lang natin sa ating problem number one. Papihahin na lang natin para hindi tayo masyadong matagalan sa pag-drawing ng crack section and also dun sa ating stress diagram. Patan na lang natin yung mga given. Okay, so this is 64. Ayan. Tapos ito, 300 pa rin naman. So, okay, so this is D minus 64. Ito, JD pa rin naman. CS prime, C. Ang pinakaiba nga lang nila ay, okay, ito, yung given na D. So, this is 536 millimeters. Ayan. Okay. So, solve natin yung C, kagaya sa pag solve natin sa problem number 1. M top and M bottom. Ah, yes. Before that, solve natin yung AS prime, no? Saka, AS. So, parehas na 28, magkaibala lang yung B lang. So, this is 28 squared over 4. Multiplied by 4. So, this is 784 by millimeter squared. Ito naman, times 2, kalahati lang yan, no? So, 392 by millimeter squared. So, for C, M top is equivalent to M bottom. So, this is 300 multiplied by C, multiplied by C over 2, then plus 2N minus 1, multiplied by AS prime, multiplied by, okay, this is C minus 64. Okay, ito. Then, equivalent to NAS multiplied by T minus 64. So, makukuha natin yung value ng C. 300 times X squared over 2. Then, plus 2 times 9. That is 18 minus 1. 17. Tandaan natin yan. Then, AS prime. Okay, so 17 AS prime is 392 by multiplied by X minus 64. Then, equivalent to N, that is 9, multiplied by AS. 
74 pi multiplied by D. 536 minus 64. Ay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, this is not 64. It should be D minus C pala. Yan. So, ito ang sagot natin sa C. 186.15 millimeters. So, makukuha natin yung value ng K and J. So, 186.15 divided by 536. So, 0.3, uh, 0.347 then 1 minus 1 third of K na 0.347. So, this is 0.884. So, makukuha natin yung mga stresses na to. Pwede sa ating bending stress or pwede rin naman gamit yung mga factor na K and J. So, unahin natin sa bending stress. So, Fs or Fc na lang muna. Sige. Fc is equivalent to M multiplied by C over INA. Then, Fs over N. So, cross multiply natin, tataas yung N. Hindi ba? So, Fs is equivalent to N multiplied by M multiplied by Okay, D minus C over INA. Ayan. So, kailangan natin masolve po lang muna yung ating moment of inertia. So, moment of inertia. 300 C cube over 12. Then plus 300 C multiplied by C over 2 squared. Then plus 2N minus 1. AS prime. Then multiplied by C minus 64 squared. Then plus and AS multiplied by D minus ah, wait lang. D minus C, no? D minus C squared. So this is our moment of inertia. 300x cube over 12 plus 300x multiplied by x over 2 squared plus this, this is ano no 17 multiplied by as prime 392 pi tama ba okay tama then multiplied by x minus 64 squared plus n which is 9 Multiplied by AS. This is 784 ata. Okay, 784. Pi multiplied by D. Ang ating D ay 536 minus C squared. So this is 3670.56. Times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung ating FC, FS. So, siguro hindi ko na iisa isa ito, no? Madali na lang ito sa inyo. Oops. Ang natin, FS. So, FC. Ang moment natin ay 150 kN. So, gawin natin Newton millimeters. So, that is times 10 raised to 6. Then, multiplied by C, X over INA. Let's say A. So, calc natin 186.15. Tama. Ang ating A ay 3670.56 times 10 raised to 6. So, this is 7.61 mega Pascal. Then, atin namang FS is N, which is 9, multiplied by M, 150 times 10 raised to 6, multiplied by D, 536 minus C, over INA. So, this is 128.67 mega pascal.
So, since meron tayong Fs, kailangan nating makuha yung ating uh, Fcs prime, di ba? Bago makuha yung Fs double prime. Ito kasi yung wala, di ba? Yung equation natin. So, balikan lang natin ginamit natin sa problem number 1. Ito. Yan. So, meron naman tayong Fs eh. Wala tayong problema. So, kung natin yung Fcs prime. This is equivalent to Fc multiplied by C minus D prime over C. So, ang Fc natin ay 7.61 then multiplied by C. That is X minus D prime that is 64 over okay, C. X. So, this is 4.99. Mega Pascal. So, ang ating 2N FCS prime is equivalent to 2 times 9 times 4.99. This is 89.80. Mega Pascal. So, less than siya sa FS. Therefore, ang ating FS double prime is equivalent to 2N minus 1 multiplied by FCS prime. So, ito yung sagot sa Fs double prime. Uh, 2, okay, that is 17 na, no, total. 2n minus 1, 17. Then, Fcs prime, that is 4.99. So, this is 84.83 mega pascal. So, try naman natin gamitin yung k and j factor. Di ba meron tayong given na moment? Yun yung ating m total or m capacity then this is equivalent to m1 plus m2 ano nga ang m1 natin ang m1 is sa concrete ito this is c multiplied by jd which is equivalent to one half of fc multiplied by okay uh, multiplied by b multiplied by c tapos yung atin namang m2 is equivalent to cs prime multiplied by Okay, ano ang kanyang ano? Okay, D minus 64. So, ang ating M2 naman ay CS prime multiplied by D minus 64. Na kung saan ang CS prime is AS prime FS double prime multiplied by D minus 64. Ayan, di natin makukuha yun. So, Puro, ano na lang, sa calculator na lang. So, this is 150 times 10 ratio 6 para sa M total. Then, equivalent to M1, that is 1 half of FC, which is 7.61, then multiplied by B, 300 times C. Ang C natin ay 186.15. Ayan. Then, plus M2, which is AS prime, that is 392 pi, Multiplied by Fs double prime. Yun yung unknown natin ngayon. Then multiplied by D, which is 536 minus 64. So dapat ang makukuha natin sagot dyan ay parehas lang dito sa Fs double prime na 84.83. Okay, so nagkamali tayo sagot. Bakit? Kasi hindi natin nalagyan ng ano, uh, moment arm na JD. O nga, no? Kasi ito... Ano pa lang to? C pa lang pala to, no? So, kailangan ng JD. Ang J natin is 0.884 times 536. Ayan. Tapos, ito, D minus 64. Meron naman, no? Ayan. So, ayan. Mukha natin yung sagot na FS double prime. 84.84. Ayan na siya. FS double prime. 84.84 mega pascal. O, di ba? Kagaya sa ating problem number 1, kahit anong gamitin ninyo, yung ating bending stress or yung ating uh, itong concept na to, yung tig isang force, okay, gamit ng factor K and J, eh, parehas pa rin ang makukuha. And nakita nyo naman, sa ating problem number 2, ang pinapahanap ay mga stresses. Sa problem number 1, capacity ang pinapahanap. Pero same pa rin naman yung makukuha ang sagot kahit anong gamitin ninyo na concept or approach. Okay? So, this is our problem number 2 for WSD Analysis of Doubly Reinforced 
team. So that's it guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at marami kayo natutunan sa mga discussion ng mga concept and problem sets ng CEVAX video tutorials. But of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Bye!